I'm at a gypsy. Because I feel like it's your, it's like a big part of your program is like the physical sort of side of yep. it. But what, what's your, what is your like philosophy when it comes to like the gym and working out and stuff? Like what style of training are you doing? What kind of like, what do you yep. think benefits you for riding the most? Like, cause you'll hear a lot of people like, oh, you shouldn't lift weights cause you get too big. Then you get arm pump. I feel like yep. a lot of that's like old. Kind yeah. Of. I mean, look, I would probably agree with that for people that are racing like you don't want to be especially if you're on a 250 you don't want to be heavy like yeah. you like a kilo is like a horsepower you know so yeah. you, you don't want to be and, and the arm pump side of things but look for me like i grew up racing motocross obviously so i've got a good background in motocross but um with the sort of riding that i do um i don't i'm you know luckily i don't need to worry about having arm pump and stuff it's just not really something i have to deal with so um my kind of philosophy with training is like i generally like to try to whatever program i'm doing i like to kind of mix it up every three months so you your mind and your body doesn't get too used to it so yeah. you can i feel like if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over it's like your your brain already knows what you're going to do as you pull before you even pull up to the gym you know what i mean if you keep it you can go a bit stale so sometimes i'll do like a push pull legs so like push movements one day pull movements the next day then legs and repeat that twice a week oh yeah um which is a good, that's a good thing to do. It's good to build strength like that, I think. Um, so you're sort of targeting, so like your push movements, like a bench press, um, and then like a, um, like your back sort of stuff and everything like that. But then I feel like with, well, what at the moment what I'm doing is like a body part per day. So yeah. I like to do arms one day, shoulders, legs, blah, blah, blah. And I guess my philosophy is I just try to, I like to do, I don't, I don't really like to count reps too much. Like I, I would never want to do anything less than sort of eight, but I try to just go till failure with most things until you, you're fucked. You can't do any more yeah. because if you, it's all well and good to do 10 reps or something, but if you're, if you're leaving, like you just still got to eight in the tank, but you could have done 20. Yeah. So like, what's the point in that? Whereas if you just, if you, if you can do 20 reps and fuck put, put the weights a bit heavier you know what i mean and if you can try to get anywhere around 10 to 12 or whatever but i just try to do it as many times as i can until i'm can't do any more yeah. until i'm about to drop the, drop the bar on myself so I, I just try to it just go just have a go like just fuck just have a crack at it go hard go go heavy and um and i'm not saying this this definitely wouldn't work for, for everyone for but. other other kind of riding you know whether it might be bmx or mountain bike or, or motocross racing but for what i do personally that's the that's the kind of training that i like to do um and you know other freestyle riders it might not work for but for me i just like to i just feel like it's just good to be be strong on the bike and you feel like you can throw it around and um and then you know when you are trying to learn new tricks and and doing bigger ramps and stuff you can you can take a hit in the airbag or landing or whatever you're on so that kind of works for me so like i don't i'm definitely not a not an expert at all I've just taught myself from just going and, you know, YouTube and things and Google and things. But, um, yeah, I just try to, I just try to Google things and change it up every few months. But as long as you're sort of hitting the, the main, uh, the main kind of exercises on each workout, like the, the big sort of, the big, like the deadlifts and yeah, the squats, deadlifts, all squats, that, bench, pull ups. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. And just do it. Fuck, just do it fucking heavy. Yeah. And, and stop when you can't do any more yeah. and then it's pretty simple like yeah. I'm, pre- I'm pr- pretty simple sort of fella like I don't yeah. know I don't know much about much but if you're going to go to the gym well you're going to have a fucking good go at it otherwise why would you go you might as well stay at home yeah. so go there and it doesn't matter if you're sweating and fucking groaning and carrying on who cares you're going there to have a crack at it and if anyone looks at you tell them to fuck off because you're going there to have <laughs> yeah. a go like, yeah. that's why you do your training you go there to, to train you know and, and have a crack at it so that's kind of the way that I like to do it um you know, again, it doesn't work for everyone, but that's that's just what I like doing, and that's kind of um what's yeah it's what I, for just you. yeah just what I enjoy doing as well. It's it's also about enjoying it because you don't want it to be like a something that you you know oh I got to go to the gym like which it is for a lot of people, but I feel like if you can make it sort of fun yeah in a way or or be a little bit creative or be kind of competitive with yourself and think oh last Tuesday I did this exercise and I did you know X amount of reps at this weight or whatever if you count all your reps and stuff, you just try to do one more. And if you do one more, that's where you kind of yeah, get a little bit of motivation. Yeah. yeah. But um, I definitely like to train alone because I kind of like to, um, I like to not really fuck around in between sets. I always like to try to do something. Yeah. And 
kind of because really you only need to spend like 45 minutes that's what i've that's what yeah. i found when i was doing it yeah you don't need to sp- like you, you can spend an hour but you don't have to you can you just can, do something else in in the gap yeah in the interim sets. do push-ups yeah, or yeah. do something else but i think and then you're um, fucked in 40 minutes yeah and that's good i think like yeah 40 45 minutes i think that's perfect you can 100 percent get everything done in that amount of time if you're not you know, checking Breaking your phone, in between and, sets yeah, and, going on Instagram yeah, yeah. and looking at who's doing what and all that. Like you do that after. So if you just go there and hook in, then you kind of you reap the benefits, and you haven't spent, you know, wasted two hours of your day there. And then that's where it, that's where it can become a bit of a pain in the ass. It's like oh, I got to go training, or oh, there goes two hours. And then yeah, people, yeah. people make excuses like oh, I can't find time for it. But you can go. You can even do a good thirty minute one if you you know what I mean. Yeah, so. Yeah. I think it's um, but again, it's just about you know figure out what works for you. Yeah, and then do you have any other stuff that in your life, I guess, p- personal performance wise, that's just non-negotiable? Like, is it a certain amount of sleep? A certain like, is there any things that you do that? No, nah, not like, really. I'm not good at sleeping. Hey, eh? like I yeah, really? I've got ADHD. Yeah. Um, so like I I find it pretty hard to sign off. Um, so like some nights like. Not last night wasn't too bad, but the night before I went to. I normally go to bed at eight thirty. Like that's that's what I like to do because I get up early, get up yeah. at like three thirty or four a.m. But yeah, two nights ago I was like, I don't know what was yeah. Like I was not like I'm not stressing out or anything. Like it's all happy days, but I was like, you just, just mind was going. Yeah, on. and I remember I do a bit of sleep eating too. I get up during the night and go and make some toast and do <laughs> carry yeah, on. Right. And I, I normally get up like three times in the night and have food two or three times every night, but. It was like I looked at the clock. It was three thirty a.m. and I hadn't slept yet. And I'm like, "What the fuck's going on?" And I was like, "But I still got up at, I got up at six and still went and did my training and stuff. So I had like three hours sleep. But normally, if I, as long as I have, sort of five or six hours, I'm pretty good. Like obviously, it's way better to get more. But I can, I'm pretty good off five or six hours. So, um, but like you know, if it's coming up to like a, a competition or a show or something, I, I just try to make sure i get more than that but I, I don't really as i said i'm pretty cruisy i'm pretty basic i just i can go to sleep if you're tired we'll have a black rifle <laughs> have a bit of caffeine you'll be right mate go to bed early the next night if you enjoyed this content please like and subscribe and to listen to the full three-hour podcast search gypsy tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below gypsy gang